Hiyo ndiyo ndiyo tunakirimu. Now a section of Rift Valley leaders are seeking to forestall the planned Mao forest evictions and are urging stakeholders to engage in dialogue to avert a humanitarian crisis. More than 60,000 families settled around the Mao forest, forest complex are set to be affected by the planned exercise, the planned phase two of the evictions, which are expected to be carried out by the government's multi-sectorial security agencies, comes a year after 9,000 families were evicted in Narok South. Environment Cabinet Secretary Kiriako Tobiko and Rift Valley Regional Commissioner George Natembea maintain that conservation of the regional water tower remains a paramount. Let's now cross over and listen in where we understand that Kipchumba Murkomen is currently addressing. That the planned evictions were meant to target our people who are in trust lands, who are not in any way in forest, and leave those who actually could be living in a forest uh, elsewhere. Uh, because uh, they may not be uh, politically, um, the others might be politically correct. And uh, the reason why we convened here is because we've been looking for to meet the cabinet secretary of, uh, of, uh, in charge of Matas Forest, uh, Honorable Keriako Tobiko. And uh, we've been waiting for an opportunity for him to accept our appointment, uh, our request for appointment. And uh, we have only received news in the media that government is about to go again and remove those people. We have agreed here that we are peace-loving Kenyans, we are responsible leaders, we are the contributors and the makers of the government of the day, and we are part and parcel and stakeholders of this government. And therefore, we are planning to have a meeting with the Cabinet Secretary of Environment on Tuesday uh, next week to dialogue on this matter. Uh, many people would expect that we would uh, engage in acts of activism, but that will be responsible for us as leaders because we are part of the solution. And therefore, we want to go and share the better part of the ideas that we have for the government and the minister to appreciate the issues that he's dealing with. Uh, number two is that we know the reported evictions are going to cause a major catastrophe, a humanitarian crisis of monumental scale, of international standard, if uh, over 100,000 families that are living in the Narok South, the area here marked for the purported evictions, it's going to cause a crisis that cannot be managed by, the, by, by anyone, not even the government of Kenya. If you remember, the, the problem we had with the uh, IDPs, this will be, you know, that will make the previous problems we have had to be a uh, child play, because this will be of a major scale. In fact, what worries us most is that you have over 10,000 children who are in primary schools within the area, primary schools registered by the government of Kenya, uh, with teachers that come from the government of Kenya, and with, uh, you know, exams they are going to do from the government of Kenya. I am happy with what, uh, we are very happy with what the Minister Magoa announced, that no, pub, no person, no citizen is allowed to go around any school for the remaining, remainder period until exams, because children are preparing for exam. We want to, the nation to know that over 1,000 class 8 children in the same area are preparing for exam, and we will expect that the order given by the Minister of Education will not only be obeyed by parents and general citizens of the public that are not allowed to go to within the school for this period, but also will be obeyed by the Minister of Environment to ensure that no evictions, no purported evictions will take place in that area because there is no mechanism of reversing uh, the catastrophe that will befall our children if they cannot do their exams in peace. So there is. Great. We now want to take a short commercial break, but do stay with us because after the break, we'll take you to county number 021, Muranga County, where the final send-off for the king of Kikuyu music, John Mwangi Nganga, alias John De Matthew, is currently underway. We understand President Uhuru Kenyatta will be making his way there. And of course, ODM leader Raila Odinga are among the many leaders expected to attend the final send-off of the legendary music. Musician, our own Stanley B. 